Thanks for joining us again on our DDE talk. I'm Laura Johnston, Principal at William Buck Gold Coast. Today I wanted to just cover a few quick tips and tricks of what to consider when setting up an e-commerce business. Obviously there's lots to consider when setting up a new business, but a few things you might want to think about before you talk to your accountant or, you know, what you might need to think about before talking to your accountant and what to talk to your accountant about. Um, so the main thing um, for anyone setting up a business, but especially in, in e-commerce, is what is your business? It's developing a business plan, a vision, a mission statement. What are you going to sell? How are you going to sell it? How do you want to get paid? Um, and then that will kind of dictate what flows from there. So if you're going to be doing an e-commerce um, business, you probably need a website. So then do you need a domain name? That will probably dictate that you need some sort of structure because you need a structure to register the domain name too. So do you want to just be a sole trader? Is it going to be quite basic and small? Do you want to be a company, a partnership, a trust? Who knows what's best? It's probably best to talk to your accountant about how big the scale is going to be and what the best structure is from there. So once you decide a new structure and then it, it's then going down the path of registrations. So like I said, um, generally a business will need an ABN. If you're a company, you'll have a company registration um, from ABN. Then you look at, do you need to be registered for GST? Do you think you're going to make more than $75,000? So then you will need to have GST. Um, do you want to have employees? Most e-commerce businesses when they're starting out probably don't have any because it's all automated, or what you would hope it to be. Um, but yeah, do you need employees? And so then you need to be registered for POIG. Um, what sort of insurances do you need? Generally you need you know, public liability. If you have staff, you might need work cover, business insurance, premises, all that sort of thing. And then the next thing, well, probably not, it's probably not the last thing, it's probably the first thing, but what's your IT platform going to be? Um, you know, e-commerce, are you going to be using Shopify to sell your goods? Are you on Amazon, eBay, you know, Amazon fulfillment business? Like there's all those sort of different platforms you need to consider. Um, and that's a really key part of your business. So a very quick, brief video there, a few things to consider. Um, but definitely vision, mission statement, what are you trying to achieve is the most important and that will flow on from everything from there. Um, that really heavily will dictate your structure and then that really dictates what you do from there. So if you have any questions and you want to come and have a chat, we're really great with um, helping with vision statements and mission statements and if there's more than one person in your business, getting you all aligned on the same path of what you want from your business. So get in touch with us, we can run those sort of sessions with you, um, be a sounding board of what you think you want to achieve. Um, so get in touch anytime. Um, there's a contact form on the website or touch base with myself on the Gold Coast. Um, yeah, get in touch. Thanks for listening.